first tonight. Some schools are already finished for the year. Others have just days or even weeks left for kids and teachers who are still in class. As the weather gets warmer, it becomes increasingly difficult to stay focused and motivated. Not however, though, for one teacher we found in a small classroom in Portland. Come on, you spread everybody in. When the students come galloping into this class, every one of them gets the same greeting every time. They are welcomed by their teacher with a warm, motherly hug. And a kiss on the forehead. Even if you took away the hugs, this would be no ordinary class. The students are studying all things Greek. A little of everything. Our faith, uh, our language, how to read, how to write. The students could not ask for a more authentic teacher than Angela Veripatis, who grew up in northern Greece. And my little village it is called the Fnonas. When you were a little girl growing mm -hmm. up in that village, what did you think of the United States? I didn't know anything about the United States. I didn't know anything. After finishing high school in Greece, Angela Veripatis came to the U.S. She had no family here and spoke no English, but began attending a school that trained young women to become teachers at Greek-American schools. Eventually, she landed a job teaching in Portland and loved it right from the start. And, oh my gosh, I, it was just, just great. I says, okay, this is for me. The students attend Greek class one afternoon a week at the Holy Trinity Greek Orthodox Church, which sponsors the instruction. That's right, after a full day of regular elementary school, they come here, and they do it eagerly. I love learning Greek. I love Kiri. I love the people in my class. They make it really fun, and learning, learning songs, learning poem is like, poems in Greek is really fun for me. Kyria is Greek for Madam Teacher, who is in the classroom four days a week. What's it like being a student of Mrs. Ravapatis? Amazing. I think it's one of the things I really love the most. She's sweet, she's kind, and when you like need help or something, she'll always help you. What's striking is how little English is spoken in class. She wants us to learn the Greek language and she loves it and she wants us to love it as much as she does. To get permission to go to the bathroom, the students must ask in Greek. They have to learn it in Greek. That's the first sentence we all learned including us, the parents that don't know Greek. If it seems like a bit of a time warp here, there's a reason, and it's amazing. Angela Varipatis has been teaching Greek in this same classroom for 52 consecutive years. I went through deaths, I went through sicknesses, I went, no, when I'm in the classroom, everything stays out. The kids, Keep me going. Over more than five decades, she has taught hundreds of students. She has stayed in touch with many of them, gone to their graduations, their weddings, taught their children, even their grandchildren. We have one young lady that uh, she's graduated uh, from Tufts University, and she helps out whenever Angela asks. And the, the kids just don't refuse her. They really don't. And it's hard to. As the afternoon goes on, the class moves downstairs for lessons in Greek dancing. Sophia, start going back. One of these years, Angela's remarkable run will come to an end, something a lot of people in the church try not to think about. I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't, um, because right at the moment, I don't think there's anybody out there in the local community that could do what she's doing. I really don't. Angela says as long as she's healthy and as long as the church and the community support the school, she'll keep teaching. Retirement is not on the horizon because she'd miss the kids. That's my, my weakness because I, I love them so much. I just, you know, look, look at their eyes. You know, they're, they are so sincere, so, so innocent. They have so much love, so they teach me.
okay, can I go there if I'm not Greek? Uh, yes, indeed you can, because what's also interesting is that some of the students have no ties to Greece, no oh. ties whatsoever. Their parents, for instance, came to the U.S. from Ethiopia, so no Greek background, but they do belong to the church. And Mrs. Veripatis says of those students, they love what they're learning here, and I love to have them, Aww. as clearly she loves to have every student who walks through the door. <laughs> okay, my favorite part of this story, by the way, we have to disclose Mrs. Veripatis' son, Ted, is our assignment manager, TV Teddy, you may recall on Twitter. And when Ted was a boy, he too attended Greek class taught by his mother. And he says that back then, the workload was heavier than it is now. <laughs> of course, of, of course. course. Uphill both ways. Yeah.